what's up, what's up? It's your boy Tanel Rodriguez. I'm here at Zoe Gravity Fitness. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys through my workout, chest and biceps today. I'm gonna show you guys what kind of routine that I do, and I'm gonna basically explain uh, some good workouts for upper chest and uh, to bring out the, you know, the mass in the chest and to get the striations going. So follow me to my workout, guys. Let's do it. Hey guys, what's going on? We're gonna do some chest. Uh, but before that, we're gonna uh, get the energy going and uh, hit with the EVP Plus by Illigen. Uh, hit the pre-workout. We're just gonna do about one scoop of this. You know. And this is the raspberry lemonade flavor that we're gonna pour in there. It's the last of the day. Pour a little bit of water in there. And we're gonna add a uh, amino jack in there. Great for recovery. I'm gonna be lifting heavy today. I'm gonna show you guys my uh, workout uh, routine. And um, I really want some good recovery throughout the week. Um, so, you know, I do amino acids daily and amino jack is my go-to. And you can also do this during your workout too, as well. Put some water in there and it's on. We're gonna start off with chest. Uh, first workout, one of my favorite uh, workouts, go-to workouts that I like to do first is uh, Smith Machine Incline uh, with the bench. And using the Smith Machine, uh, we're gonna do, the set range that we're gonna do today is gonna to be set one, light set. Set two, we're gonna do a little bit moderate. Set three and four are gonna be the working set, so we're gonna be two heavy sets. And then set five, we're gonna be back to a burnout set. So five set workout, I'm gonna show you guys four, uh, Workouts for chest and about three for biceps today. Let's get it. second heavy. I feel comfortable with 315. I think we do about maybe two or three without a spot. I don't have a spotter today, but if you do have a spot, please do with the 315. It's pretty heavy, especially incline. Uh, today, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try that for about two or three reps, only because I'm comfortable with it though, all right? Bring it back to what we use for set one, and we do as many as you can. All right, full range of motion. Fighting hard, fighting strong, fighting harder. Uh, one routine I like to do for chest is a pretty good tip. Is you always want to start off with a push, and you open the chest up, going back to push out and open it back up. So the second workout we're gonna do is a low to high uh, incline fly to work the upper chest from low to high in the cables. Uh, so we can get that good squeeze and build that cloud over the area.
my mommy. That was my uh, moderate set at 70 pounds, so I tried to go heavy. The third set, I probably used around uh, 90 to 95 pounds on my first heavy. My second heavy, I'll probably go up to 105, 110 if I'm feeling good. And then back down to 50s for my light set. Um, now we're gonna move on to the next one. We push it out, now we're gonna open it back up again with the fly. Love it when you feel that pump, baby. That EVP pump. Where the war at is death threats on my doormat. I'm selfish and need all the air, no accolade state. See, I be sitting in the grave, for I be sitting in the cage. Ask Ali, what's the price of war? Ask God, why mama made me poor? Ask police, why they hung me down? We fight to live and fight for sport. I try to give their yes for more. I Chess was one thing that uh, I did lack throughout my career in uh, bodybuilding and conventional Z. Uh, this will be my third year of being a happy to be pro, and I'm barely seeing the results of my chest. I mean, it, it took me a, a little over maybe five years to figure out the mind and muscle connection that I really want to teach you guys today. Is getting your mind, putting it here, you're telling it to grow, and you get that connection with the range of motions, the correct, proper uh, form when you lift your weights. Um, so we're here, we're doing the flies. And I like to have a good form and a good squeeze, okay, to really get that contraction in the chest. Because if not, you'll just be working mostly your deltoids, your front delts. Alright, so um, chest is finally coming up. How about that? Second set. Way they turn it back, lifestyle to the talented and black. Back on the ropes, I must react. This is my story, story, story. Yeah, this is my story. You gotta hear that pop sound. That was just nothing, man. Bro, she ain't lifting nothing. You gotta hear it. Make it loud. Mm. Since the young and now we dream of getting rich. Look at me, my nigga fantasizing about a white picket fence. It's some trees, my nigga. You still want a pathfinder with some tents. That's all I need, my you gotta get into a mental focus, man. If you're in a mental focus, you ain't gonna do it, you know what I mean? It's that uh, capability, you know? Indecision is a thief of opportunity. Don't be indecisive. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Anybody is a killer, all you gotta do is push them to the lips. Fuck being timid in the civic politic with the bushes and the pimps. I'm trying to write a story, can I get a clip? Alright, guys, so we're gonna transition into some biceps. Um, we're gonna go straight to preacher curl machine. Uh, really, really get that bicep going, get the pump going for the first workout. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of different, different set for the arm rotation. Uh, we're gonna do probably set one, light, set two, moderate. We're only gonna do one heavy, and then we're gonna do a, a drop set for, for the bicep today. So we're gonna start off with preacher curl, light set. Run it, hands in the air, down, hands in the air. Arms are pumped already. Okay, so the last set, four sets, is gonna be, that was my heavy set. Four sets is gonna be a drop set. Uh, we're gonna go from what we use for the heavy, what we use for the medium, and what we use for the light. Increment of three dropping down. Here we go. They go and get rich. <laughs> Fuck with me, my nigga. We gon' stuck around the villa and hit a lick. As you can tell, I'm pretty pumped. EVP's kicking in. Amino Jack's kicking in. I'm really getting a uh, blood flow. Um, so we're gonna shift over into hammerhead. It's one of my favorite bicep workouts. Really work on that peak for the side view. Yeah, I want my pockets fat a better bitch. Tired of seeing niggas flown, I wanna flunk too, nigga. I saw rollers in the fucking crown fit. Trying like a nigga, that's what they won't do, nigga. Wanna know a funny thing about this shit? Even if you let them kill your dream, it'll haunt you, nigga. Haunt you. Last night I had a bad dream that I was trapped in the city. I have a calling for, for this, you know, and uh, I have a lot of passion for it, you know. And when, you, when you're doing your 
the program, whatever program that you're doing, you want to put the full force into it. And um, that's where it comes from the soul, you know what I mean? Um, one thing that I always carried with me was my mom. You know, she passed away when I was uh, three months. And, uh, you know, I carry that with me in the gym. Um, uh, one out of a hundred things that I carry with me. And uh, I, I just get that energy and get that passion. Consistency is key, guys. You know, and you gotta make sure you're on top of your decision making, you know what I mean? Um, you can easily say, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do a program and I'm gonna go full force and you're gonna have a lot of side effects, side tracks uh, in your process, you know? And, and this is uh, one key thing about bodybuilding and, and, and reaching any type of goal in life is being consistent at it and, and keeping it up and never giving up.